get to work. Well, I sure wish I knew why Commander Adrian sent us way out here to wash these jeeps. Ours is not to reason why, ours is but to wash and dry. Lieutenant, this is non-regulation procedure. In the middle of a war, a motor pool just doesn't stop everything to wash jeeps. I know, McGuire, but I also know Commander Adrian wouldn't have given this order unless he was trying to pin something on us. Like what? Well, like disobeying an order. I bet you two to one Commander Adrian is spying on us right now, just praying that we goof off. Come on, girls. Goof off. <laughs> Any sign of the Nip Sub that's been sneaking in and sinking our supply barges, sir? Nip Sub? Oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, have some luncheon, Trotter. Superb eggs, Benedict. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> Pardon me, but aren't you looking in the wrong direction? The supply barges are in the harbor. Oh, don't bother me, Trotter. Slippery Sam would never attack at lunchtime. That's uncivilized. <laughs> Hey, I got them, I got them. There they are. I've got them, Trotter. Make out papers charging the waves with their election of duty. The waves? That's right. You know those hussies are actually doing a fan dance. Trotter, <laughs> look for yourself. You're going to be my witness at the court martial. <laughs> That's not a fan dance, sir. Hmm? She's sending a message. Uh, slippery Sam in harbor. Oh, knock it off, Trotter. It doesn't take much of a naval officer to tell the difference between a wigwag and a fan dance. Commander Adrian, you have egg on your face. <laughs> salvage anything? No, sir. Just as we sighted the sunken barge, she blew all to pieces. All right, all right. Dismissed. Uh, sir, uh, huh? these men just executed a pretty perilous mission. Uh, don't you think they deserve a well done? Oh. Well done. And don't drip any of that salt water on my carpet. That's Persian. Slippery <laughs> Sam really clipped us this time. We lost 500 cases of demolition charges. A hundred barrels of torpedo fluid. Oh, we can always replace that Navy stuff. Do you realize there was a case of imported caviar on that barge? <laughs> From the Caspian Sea. <laughs> Two more weeks of this domestic stuff, I'll go right straight out of my mind. Entire <laughs> catastrophe is up all those waves. Would you mind throwing that curve again, sir? How is it the fault of the waves? Don't bother me with the tales. All I know is that ever since I got here, I've, I've been drinking more and enjoying it less. <laughs> Hello, Adrian here. Oh, oh, he hello, Ad Admiral. Uh, how, how are you, sir? Never mind me. It's you I'm worried about. I have a report here of Slippery Sam's latest attack. What's he doing, using your base for target practice? Oh, yeah, negative, <laughs> sir. Uh, uh, negative. Uh, no, <laughs> no. There, there's a perfectly uh, reasonable explanation for that, Admiral. I, uh, uh, well, well, if you just give me a moment, Admiral, I... Don't just stand there. Think of something reasonable. Now, when the defense posture of your base gets this flabby, it means there's too much high living going on there. High living? Here, sir? Uh, uh, on, on, uh, on Ranakai? Oh, no, no, no. That's just enemy propaganda, sir. I want to tell you that... You can tell it to the fleet readiness officer. He'll be there next week. Oh, Admiral, sir, the, the, the readiness officer would just be wasting his time. I run a... Talk ship, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. All the men here lead Spartan lives. Following my example, of course. <laughs> Admiral. Admiral? Uh, Admiral? For heaven's sakes. You want me to fix you a uh, bicarb on the rocks, sir? Oh, don't tell me it's not those waves' fault. 
Ever since they landed here, we have had nothing but inspections, investigations. When's it all going to end, Trotter? Cheer up, sir. The worst that can happen is uh, we might be released for combat duty. Combat? What's your language, Lieutenant? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Well, I'd better go post a notice about the readiness officer so all hands can be ready. You know what a stickler he is. A man is a half a pound overweight and he gets shipped out. Oh. Shipped out? Trotter? Yes, sir? Trotter, belay that order. Just tell Lieutenant Morgan and her waves to be in my office at 6 o'clock sharp. And Trotter, not word one to them about the readiness officer. Aye, sir. About the time... Do you mean 600 or 1800, sir? Uh, 600 in the morning watch and 1800 begins the second dog watch. 6 p.m. <laughs> I hate that Navy talk. <laughs> Wave detachment reporting is ordered, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. I would like to discuss with you the part your group played in today's Slippery Sam disaster. Sir? I would like to respectfully state that, in my opinion, our unit did the right thing. And no matter what you accuse us of, I will stand on that opinion. The right thing, what you did, was magnificent. That's not true, sir. It was not our fault. And <laughs> uh, did, did, did you say magnificent? Well, those palm leaves was a stroke of genius. I salute you. Magnificent? Oh, I know. I know. You suspect a trick. Well, I wouldn't say that, sir, but I'm glad you did. Yes, yes, I know in the past I've called you inefficient, unreliable, unmilitary, inept. Now, the time has come for me to eat my words. Oh, well, that's very nice, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me. Up, to, up, 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 Lieutenant. When I eat my words, I do not like to eat alone. So if you ladies will all be my guests for dinner, right this way, please. Oh, what a spread! Gone home! Oh, that, as you were, girls. Just a minute. I mean, this is all very lovely, Commander, but I... Oh, I, I know, I know. You see, no poison. Oh, well, why, that thought never occurred to me, sir. Well, it has to me, often, but from now on, <laughs> peace. Well, if you'll excuse me, Lieutenant, I must go and congratulate the chef. He's a new man here. I hope his cuisine meets with your approval. Trotter? Gee, Lieutenant, is it a trick or a treat? <laughs> Why, I, I... I'd like to think about it, but... Not on an empty stomach. Chow down! <laughs> well, Bernard, have you prepared all the little goodies as ordered? Huh? Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Escargot on a bed of rice, ah. cocoa bomb with vermicelli, ah. and followed by Beth Alamo <laughs> for dessert. Chocolate mousse. Excellent, Bernard. You have done a magnificent job. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll just put these in the refrigerator. <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh, well, to be honest with you, sir, I, I think I'm about so far from a Section 8. <laughs> <laughs> Trotter, this is actually one of my simpler operations. I'm going to have those girls nicely fattened up for the fleet readiness officer. Oh, no. Oh, yes. By the time I'm through with them, they'll have to ship those waves home on a tanker. <laughs> Sir, do you expect me to stand by while you fatten those innocent lambs for the slaughter? Well, Trotter, if you want to rat on your old commander, go right ahead. <laughs> but then start packing. And be sure to include plenty of long underwear. It gets terribly cold up there in the illusions. <laughs> The illusions? Yes, lots of big mouth bass up there, Trotter. You should feel right at home. <laughs> I thought you were actually being kind to those girls. I am old shipmate. As a matter of fact, I intend to kill them with kindness. <laughs> and for breakfast, he sent over cheese omelet and, and, and glazed ham and cinnamon roll. Wasn't that thoughtful of us? Oh, he's all hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with the motor? Would you like a wild guess? I think you're out of gas. Oh, you're right. I, I forgot to fill the gas tank before we left. <laughs> That's pretty stupid of me, wasn't it? Square, yes. 
stupid no. <laughs> and it's no gag. Look at the gauge. You mean you really are out of gas? Well, now I am insulted. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we're just going to have to walk back to the base. Max, it must be seven or eight miles. Ten. Oh, well, you can burn off some of those extra calories you had for breakfast. <laughs> well, 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 what are you doing way out here? Oh, well, we uh, ran out of gas, sir. <laughs> yes, that's right. We were just about to take a long hike. It's a lucky thing you happened along. Oh, I didn't just happen, Lieutenant. You and your girls enjoyed my little dinner so much last night that I brought lunch out to the motor pool for you. <laughs> Wasn't that sweet, sir? I'm sorry I missed it. Oh, but, but you didn't. You never would have gotten back in time for lunch. And knowing how important it is to you to dine with your unit... Uh, uh, just step this way, Lieutenant. <laughs> girls! <laughs> Allow me, Lieutenant. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Well, how about Lieutenant Trotter? Yes, how about that? He just went on a rigid diet. <laughs> Press on, driver. Enjoy your trip, Trotter. It's the only way to fly. <laughs> 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 You'll have another buttered scone, Lieutenant. Oh, no, Commander, I, I, I couldn't. I'm stuffed. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Although I am a little put out the other girls aren't here, this is the first afternoon cookie break they have missed in four days. Oh, well, yes, uh, actually, uh, Lieutenant Trotter has them scrubbing down the motor pool, sir. Lieutenant Trotter has them... <laughs> working when they should be eating? <laughs> yes, sir. And as a matter of fact, I really should be there to help. So if you'll excuse well, plenty, me... Plenty, plenty of time, Lieutenant. Plenty of time. Oh, here, here. Have a... Have a petty four, Lieutenant. They're direct from Paris. From Paris? I have a contact with the French underground. <laughs> Trotter, is that you? Yes, sir. Uh, stay there. I'll be right out. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Go right ahead. <laughs> Trotter, you are fighting me. Fighting you, sir? Oh, come out from under that halo, boy. I've got Lieutenant Morgan in there, and she said you have those girls working. <laughs> Lieutenant's in there? Oh, well, sir, I'm sorry. I, I just don't know what you're so upset about. Operation Bloat. That's what I'm upset about. Operation Bloat. Uh, oh, oh, you mean your plan to fatten up the waves, uh, trick them into eating their way out of the Navy? Yeah, and the readiness officer gets here, he will throw the book at them. And I want you one word out of you, Trotter, and I'll have you bricked. If you so much as open your mouth... Oh, me, sir. Why, Commander, I, I give you my solemn word, they'll hear about it from you before they do from me. <laughs> readiness officer gets here. Commander Arnold goes strictly by the book. One pound overweight and you've had it. That's a Navy way. Shape up or ship out. Well, that's not fair. Most of the fellas think I'm shaped up pretty good. I just wish we could postpone Commander Arnold's visit for a while. Only Adrian can do that and he's got no reason to. Well, there's your answer. All we have to do is fatten Adrian up. How? Force feeding. You see, tonight when he's asleep, we stick a gasoline hose in his mouth and pump him full of chicken soup with lots of balls. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Regulations specifically specify a gasoline hose can only be used for pumping gasoline. You know something, Kowalski? In your own quaint way, you've just given me an idea. You mean we're going to pump old Adrian full of gasoline? <laughs> Matt, I've got a wild idea, but I'm going to need your help. Count me in. I'll even pump the gasoline. <laughs> All secure? Yeah. Condition red. They're coming. All hands over the side. Yeah. Trotter, I ought to have you break, keeping me up half the night on a false alarm. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I got a report that Slippery Sam is coming in under the fog, and, uh, well, after what the Admiral said, I knew you'd want to be there. The next time, check it out yourself before you get me up in the middle of the night. Yes, sir. I could have been late for breakfast. <laughs> Trotter. Well, they have sent me back with the wrong uniform. Oh, I don't think so, sir. Uh, that's your monogram on the pocket. And they've shrunk it. 
I doubt that, sir. Uh, why don't you check the jacket? Uh, of course, you could have put on some weight, sir. You do set a pretty rich table, you know. I'm satisfied that I haven't gained a pound in years. <laughs> something's wrong here. That's impossible. Something's wrong here. Oh, indeed there is, sir. I just can't conceive of our impeccable commander, Adrian, as a big, fat slob. <laughs> uh, why don't you weigh yourself, sir? Two hundred and... Oh. 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 Are you hurt, sir? Not me, you fool. It's this chair. This is an antique, a 17th century antique, a genuine Chippendale. What a pity, sir. It just crumpled under your weight. My weight. <laughs> My weight. I just had the same horrible thought. The readiness officer. Trotter, they'll ship me out. They'll send me home. Away from all the comforts of war. Uh, uh, couldn't you send him a signal asking him to postpone his visit? Good thinking, Trotter. Well, just don't stand there. Postpone, oh, postpone. Yeah, I... <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Chips. <laughs> yes, it's the, the readiness officer. The readiness officer? Already? <laughs> right this way, sir. Hi, uh, uh, Arnie. Oh, what are you doing here? I came down a day early with the Admiral. The Admiral here? Yes, a uh, report came in that Slippery Sam was back in the area, and the Admiral wanted to have a look-see at your operation here. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that, Adrian. You've got a much bigger problem right here. Well, there's a, there's a, a perfectly simple explanation for that, Arnie, old boy. Yes. Well, don't rush me. I, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. <laughs> Gentlemen, I... Oh, uh, Commander. Well, what are you doing up so early? I brought your breakfast tray. Your breakfast tray? Uh, yeah, yeah, just some toast and tea. Well, uh, actually, a, a lot of toast and tea. Right? <laughs> now, Bernard, later, 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 later. All later. right, I'll wait, sir. <laughs> My flute legged heifer weight. Well, well, I'm sorry, sir. It, it just fell apart under my weight. I'm sorry, I personally smuggled that chair out of the British Embassy. And if there is one thing, I will do it. Your weight. Your weight? Is that your weight, Bernard? Two hundred and... Oh, there's something wrong here. There is something wrong. This jacket has been cut down and re -sewn. And this chair leg has been sawn through. Freeze, Trotter! <laughs> word about this to the waves and I'll break you to seam and suck it. Adrian, will you please tell me what this is all about? I will and in detail. Those waves tried to frame me. Waves? Correction, those fat waves. <laughs> Sit down, Commander. And I'll tell you what those distaff horn pipers have been up to. <laughs> My old English four-poster. <laughs> Lieutenant Morgan, request permission to faint. <laughs> Sorry, McGuire. Not until we're back in shape. I had a gentleman friend once, a jockey. Boy, could he lose weight fast. What'd he do, weigh in without his elevator shoes? Well, they didn't weigh much. <laughs> we see, what he'd do is he'd sweat it off in a steam room. Well, Roberta, since we don't happen to have a steam room handy, we're gonna have to go back to doing it the hard way. Yeah. All right, everybody. Next exercise, twist and touch toe. And one. And two. All through, Lieutenant. You can check her out. Whew, it's a real scorcher, isn't it? <laughs> no warmer than usual. No? Oh, must be these rubber tights. Hey, maybe that's why they call us frogmen, because you could croak from the heat. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Did you say steam room? Boy, a steam room sure would do it, Lieutenant. Well, we are going to have four of them. One to a customer. Well, Adrian, I hope I didn't get you out of bed too early. Oh, negative, sir, negative. I was up at the very crack. 
matter of fact, I would have met you dockside, except I wasn't expecting a surprise visit. No, you haven't been expecting Slippery Sam's visits either, have you? That's exactly why I am here. Oh, good to have you aboard, sir. As a matter of fact, your visit is most timely. You can personally cut the orders to ship the waves stateside. The waves? Sir, according to Commander Adrian, the waves are grossly overweight and unfit for active duty. You ought to be more worried about a certain skinny nip out there than a few fat waves. Oh, can do, sir. Can do. The moment I get rid of those waves, I'll be a regular old worrywart. <laughs> So, think thin. Think thin. How can I think with my brains at a rolling boil? Belay that, sailor. Our Navy careers are at stake. Grit your teeth. Don't give up the ship. He's going to fight. Oh, Lieutenant. I can't stand this another minute. Molly, honey, you've just got to. Right in here, Commander Arnold. Arnold, that's the readiness officer. Turn up! The devil's going on here. What are those ridiculous get-ups? May I offer an obvious explanation, huh? I think the ladies are trying to take off some weight. Well, if they are, they're not going to get away with it. <laughs> what are these ridiculous outfits for? Oh, well, well, they're for frogmen, sir. I know that. What are you doing in them? What, what are we? Uh, well, we're, uh, we're, we're, te we're testing him. Uh, th th that's right, we're, we're, we're testing him for, for leaks. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we find a leak and we vulcanize it. What a cool service, sir. Stop a leak and <coughs> save a frogman. Hold oh, it. And stop that wiggling. You're supposed to be at attention. We are, sir. From the neck up. Neck down, we sure ain't at ease. Well, we're going to have the way in immediately. Aye, aye, sir. But if you do, you're going to have to do it soaking wet. All hands. Commander Arnold, or I'll have you up for mutiny. Well, girls, I, I guess this is it. See, I wonder how far it is to Australia. <laughs> All ashore, it's going ashore. Oh, well, Commander. Oh, Commander. Admiral, I am glad you are here. These are the waves I was telling you about, you see. So grossly overweight that they have gone to this ridiculous extreme <laughs> to cheat the readiness office. Well, fat or lean, you and these waves make a pretty good task force. Well, what do you mean, sir? Well, you've captured Slippery Sam. We, we did? did? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did? Oh, pardon me for being nosy, Admiral, but would you mind telling me just how we captured Slippery Sam? Well, you see, when he saw our new secret weapon, these uh, human depth charges, he signaled unconditional surrender. <laughs> Commander, put a prize crew aboard that submarine. Take charge of those prisoners. Hmm? Oh, um, I, 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 sir. Come on, Adrian. Then I would like you to check with the readiness officer and have him weigh you in. <laughs> You're gonna run a taut ship gonna have to get rid of some of that ballast. <laughs> if there's anything I can't stand, it's a fresh admiral. <laughs> <laughs> 